Hi hey everybody. This uh, this video is just to give you guys a heads up on my uh, surgery. I had my surgery uh, last week, the 22nd of January, and it went went pretty pretty well. So it's uh, it it wasn't a it's called a mini lap deck lap deck lap deckomy deckomy. Um, all it really means is that it's a a, a small operation uh, removal of um, excess material around in the spinal uh, canal so um that was successfully done right now all i got is a little bit of pain in the butt um but it's not like heavy pain i can get up no, no problem in fact uh, i think after th three days of the surgery i was able to get up with no problem uh, just minor minor pain i have i've been taking Vic vicodin uh, that seems to be working better than any other um, medication I have. It's like 750. I don't know if that's milligrams or what it doesn't say, but 7.5 dash 750. So I know it's strong, but it seems to be the only thing working for the pain. In the hospital, I had that they gave me a button that um, administered a little bit of um, through the IV, uh, a little bit of dilaudorin, um it's supposed to be stronger than morphine, and uh, that worked. Especially when I backed it up, like it, after a six-minute interval, you couldn't you couldn't give yourself another dose until after six minutes went by. So I did. I backed up on that about maybe four times during the course of the night, and um, other than that, it was randomly every every so often. To be quite honest with you, I wasn't in much pain. I, w I was more uh, afraid of the, the possibility of moving in such a way where I would get pain. So I, w I didn't know what I was heading for. But it went off pretty good. They wanted me to stay an extra day, but I didn't want to stay. So um, and I didn't have to. The doctor gave me the go-ahead to go home from early that morning. So um, I stood up right away. The, 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 the rehab girls, uh, they were very young. They came and... Uh, they were telling me how to how to, how to get out of bed, and they showed me ways to walk up the stairs and stuff like that. But I didn't have any problem. But I listened to what they said anyway, and I also did a lot of research on YouTube. I've been looking at a lot of, um, and the only thing they they suggest that you do in a case like this, when whenever you go into this type of surgery, is walking. So he advised me to do as much walking as I could, and um, and avoid bending, twisting. And picking up anything heavy, no heavy exercise whatsoever. So I'm going to follow those rules. I got to go for the shoulder operation, the, my, my rotator cuff tour again. Uh, it's a re-tear. So I have to see uh, my doctor soon, my shoulder uh, surgeon, about that. So I got to go ahead from the back surgeon. I could do it whenever I'm ready to do so. So I'm going to do that. Anyway, let me mention this before I forget. Um, Pip. I wanted to say hello, and um, give, um, this update is actually for you and Shawnee, because I know both of you expressed some interest in uh, how I've been getting along. So I've been doing quite well, to be quite honest with you. Um, like I said, the surgery was non-invasive. I only have two uh, small slits in my back, about that big. and um, but, but interesting enough, it's only on one side. It's not, it's not bilateral. Most of the incisions that I've seen were on both sides. This one uh, is both on one side. Kind of weird. Um, oh, I wanted to show you what I bought to help me keep uh, my my uh, abs. Um, it works also as a rehabilitation tool. This is a military grade um, tins unit. I don't know if it's the right. Yeah, it's it's right side up. This is a tins unit. It can it holds up to uh, eight pads. They sent me a whole bunch of stuff here. Um, they sent me a, a belt, an ab belt, and the, it's used for it's used for chiropractor and uh, and the military. Um, it's used for many different applications. So it's a very versatile unit, and I didn't really pay that much for it. I paid um, it was um, I think it was. Um, 300 339 bucks for it uh, I thought it was worth it and uh, I'm told that it's an excellent unit 
So I'm going to use that to stay in shape instead of going to the gym for the time being. It's what um, that karate expert guy used. What was his name? Uh, um, um, he played with... Uh, he was Bruce. Uh, he was um, Green Hornets. Um, Cato, that's his name. Cato. Um, so, um, anywho, uh, that's the lowdown. I'm gonna post this just the way it is. And the other video that I did, I I noticed that I was going um all the time, and kind of drove me nuts. So I wasn't gonna post that. I get you give you guys a headache. I love you all. Take care. Bye bye.